Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for number bonds up to 100. And we're going to be looking at addition questions. Now let's have a look at our first example. We have something plus 64 equals 100. Something plus 64 equals 100. Now the simplest method is we're going to add the numbers to this one until we get to 100. Now let me show you what I mean by this. Let's start with the units. How many units have we got? Four. Well we need to get the units to equal zero. Now what's the next number after four which has zero as the units? That's right, it's 10. So 4 plus what number, this 4 over here, plus what number is going to give us 10? Well, the answer is 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. We can even do this. 64 plus 6, 4 plus 6 is 10. We carry 1 over, <coughs> excuse me, and 6 plus 1 is 7. So we're now up to 70. We're now going to be looking at the Tens, oops, the tens column, we've got tens, how many have we got? We've got seven tens. How many do we need to get to? We need to get to ten. I know it says zero, but effectively it's ten. So there are ten tens. So what number added to the seven is going to give us ten? The answer is three. Three tens and zero units. Now if we add these together, how many do we have? We've got seven plus three is ten. Just to double check, do these numbers match? Yes, they do. They're both 100. So what number did we add? Well, we added... I'm just going to go back to the right colors. We've got 6 here, and we've got 3 over here. So the number we added was 36. Now, did you see that? 36. So we can write this down in the question. 36. So 36 plus 64 equals 100. It's a nice simple method. Okay, we're going to look at one more example. And I should also add, this is probably the best method to use as well. Okay, let's scroll down. Okay, the next example we have is 73 plus something equals 100. So 73 plus something equals 100. Now the same method, we're going to add numbers to this one, 73, until we get to 100. Let's start with the units. We've got three units. How many units do we need to get to? We'll have a look over here. It's zero. So what number added to three is going to give us the next zero units, which is 10. The number 10. It is 3 plus 7. 3 plus 7 is 10. And we're going to just do the summation over here to highlight this 3 plus 7 is 10 carry one over 7 plus 1 is 8 so we are now up to 80 and now if we have a look at the tens we have got eight tens over here we need to get to 10 tens so what number added to 8 is going to give us 10 the answer is 2 2 tens and 0 units okay Let's just add these together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 2 is 10. And just to make sure that these match, yes, they do match. They are both 100. So what number did we add? Well, we've got 7, and we've also got 20. So the number we added was 27. That's the answer, 27. 73 plus 27 equals 100. Now, it's very important you learn this method. Okay? At the moment I'm showing you all the workings through this process. However, with a bit of practice you'll be able to do these in your head without any pen or paper and that is what we want at this stage. Okay? So practice these and practice them until you can do them in your head. So that is how we find the missing number for number bonds up to 100 for addition questions.